Many courses at the TU Delft use group work for assignments and projects. This means that the groups not only work together, they also submit work or various deliverables as a group. How do you coordinate that through Brightspace? We saw in a prior video how to set up groups in general. This video will take that further. We will set up the groups, but then we will add what is called a submission folder where they can upload various assignments and projects. Start the usual way by clicking Groups and then click New Category. Give the category a new name, for example, Assignment. Type in a description and then specify the groups. Another video in our series showed how you can make the students self-select their group or how you can manually select their groups. Please refer back to that. The part we are interested in now is setting up lockers and assignment submission folders. The locker is easy to understand. If you select that checkbox, students will also have a place within Brightspace where they can share files with each other. For example, documents, images, video material that is for a work in progress. Think of this as a Dropbox or like a Google Drive for the groups to share files with each other. You may find this useful, especially if you act as a coach and need to go review drafts or intermediate documents. The last checkbox that sets up the assignment submission folder is the main focus of this video. Here we are setting up a folder where students will submit their final project or assignment into. If you select that and then click Save, you get taken to another screen. Here you are giving that folder, the Assignment Submission folder, a name, for example, Assignment 1. You can create or select a category if you have many Assignment Submission folders and you wish to group them, but this is optional. You can also optionally select a grade item. You need to then give the points grade, for example, out of 10 or out of 57 points. You can associate a rubric with this folder and provide instructions for the groups to complete. For example, what are your expectations and what layout do you require in the report, and so on. If you prefer, you can also provide those instructions through an attachment. This might be useful if you already have this from a prior run of your course. Then we have to talk about the submission options. Here we are specifying what we expect from our students. The first option says unlimited files, or you can choose one file per submission folder. Select whatever is appropriate. If your groups need to submit two or more files, you must select unlimited. The next part is all about what information is kept by Brightspace. If Brightspace should retain all submissions, select the first option. Or if the students are only given one chance to submit, select the last option. The middle option is our recommendation. Use this, and then Brightspace will only keep the most recent submission. We recommend this because this way you will avoid receiving emails from students asking if they can resubmit, for example, if they found a mistake and they want to make a small change, and you will avoid confusion. If you allow all submissions to be kept, you have to pay very careful attention as the instructor or teaching assistant to ensure you are only grading the most recent submission. Therefore, we recommend avoid any confusion on your end and avoid lots of emails in your inbox by selecting the middle option. In very small classes, you may be interested in receiving a notification for every submission. For example, in courses where students have to very infrequently upload something, you may want to be notified when that has happened so that you can go grade it. In that case, use the notification email, otherwise leave it blank. Click Create, and then you will have created an assignment submission folder for every group for this deliverable. Now imagine this course has assignment 2, 3, and 4, and that these are done by the same groups. We need to create submission folders for those other assignments. How do we do that? Go to Course Admin, and under Assignments, you have the option to create extra submission folders. Click on New Submission Folder and create, in exactly the same way as before, an Assignment Submission Folder for Assignment 2. Select that it is a Group Submission Folder and then choose the Group category, if required. Again, you can associate it with a grade item from your gradebook 
and all the same settings as before are available. To point out quickly, if you have used Turn It In, then you can go specify the Turn It In options for this assignment as well. Notice that Turn It In option was not available previously. It is only available when you go set up the Assignment Submission folder under Course Admin. So to summarize, in this video, we saw how you could create groups when students need to work together to deliver something. They deliver that end assignment or project in what is called an Assignment Submission folder. You can create multiple submission folders for various deliverables in your course.